you're ready to color your character, there's a few things you want to do first. You want to bring everything to a neutral color. So just go here, make sure you select everything. Tap here and just use this. You can use a gray, you can use more of a brown. Um, I like to use these colors here. And we'll just go with like a, you know, like a terracotta type color, almost like a flower pot. So that's a pretty even neutral color. So the next thing we want to do is turn our environment off because right now you're seeing shadows and things like that and you're all of the shadows and things you're seeing right now are from the environment so let's turn the environment off so that we can light the character properly so we go here and let's turn the environment off this is my own custom environment but if you tap here you'll see lots of different environments and you can see how differently the light will look on the character but for now let's just uncheck environment and you want it to be all black because when you add lights you want to be able to see what each specific light is doing so I've already pre-lit my character but here's the first light so that's the first one and that's our default uh, that's our default light, the key light, which is right here. Doesn't matter where I have this light at, because with with the uh, sunlights, all that matters is the direction. So it doesn't matter where it's placed, all that matters is the rotation. So that light's coming from there. The rim light is on the other side, pointing kind of on his back. So we're getting a little bit of light there. This light is coming from this way. And then we have a light just to kind of showcase his face and make that a little brighter, the focus point. So once you have your lights set up how you like them, then you can go ahead and turn on your environment. And usually, as you can see, the environment is way too bright. It gets rid of all those nice shadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the exposure to maybe something like this, where you have a little bit of those dark shadows and then of course, you can turn on post-process. Now this is something that you can do beforehand if your iPad can handle it, then you can turn on post-process first and do lighting that way as well. So we go here, we'll just turn on post-process. Uh, looks really good. I usually put my quality all the way up. I turn reflection on, global illumination all the way up. Ambient inclusion is usually around here. Sometimes I adjust these a little bit if I want it to be a little bit darker or a little bit lighter. So you can play around with these and just kind of get it to where you like it. Uh, depth of field is cool. I usually don't use it for Nomad, but if so, you don't want to have too much blurred. Maybe just have it so a little bit of the background is blurred. But I usually don't use it much on uh, with Nomad because it's not true depth of field. And Bloom just reacts how the light hits it. Usually it looks a little too uh, foggy for me, so I just keep it off. So now you have the character properly lit. And here's the point where you want to color him. Uh, and the reason why you want to light it properly first is because you want your colors to be uh, as true to your scene and as true to your eye as you want them to look. So now we can go in and color the character uh, whatever we want to color him. I think he feels like a kind of a nice green. And his arm's green too. Maybe we'll paint this a little bit more yellow. And maybe we'll make these so all these plates, I'm just gonna select them all. And I'll take the eyedropper and go over the green and maybe we'll make it a darker version. Bring the roughness up a little bit. Eyelashes, I usually do a darker color. I'm gonna make sure I turn the roughness all the way up. I don't want any light bouncing off of that. Eyes, he definitely feels like he has yellow eyes. And we'll turn the roughness down so they're glossy. So 
little pupils. We'll make them black. And maybe we'll turn the roughness all the way up. So his teeth, you can select the group again. And we'll just give him white teeth. I'm also gonna set the teeth to subsurface. So that will give them a little bit of a organic see-through uh, look. And of course you can change the color of the subsurface as well. Maybe you want it a little bit more, make it a little bit more of a tooth color for the subsurface. Then you can adjust this. To, this is how much you can see through it. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how I color the characters. And if you want to do a turntable, just tap here. And uh, on this screen, if you want to do a screen record, this is when I pull down here and I do the screen record. So I'll tap that. This is your, um, I think it's called a hot key or a hot corner or something like that. So you hit record. And I like to do zero, 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 and then hit my turntable and then just set him up in the, in the middle. And that's how I do a turntable. And that's how I color all my characters. Just make sure you do lighting first. And I forgot his tongue. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to go more in depth, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes where I am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy. So if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.